Greetings and good day, everybody. I'm showing you my hands to start off. There they are, both of them. And I've, I'm not sure if my nail beds are uh, as clean as they might be, So, um, which ties into what we're going to talk about today, and that is being safe and protecting ourselves in our Inside Out Health and Wellness segment. I'm Barry. Uh, it's uh, an honor to be with you once again to share information in a moment that um, hopefully will spark an idea and certainly positive thinking, specifically um, as we in invite back for another great home segment on how we can be creative in the moment of staying safe and being at home during this uh, global pandemic. Um, Barbara Howe is going to join us again today as our master health and wellness educator and talk about things, not just making masks at home, but other amazing things that you can do to be creative at home. Um, and so we're going to welcome in Barb. And how are you doing today? Hey guys, how are you? I'm good. Good. So, um, yeah. good. Um, so where, where are you today in the, in the home? So today I'm going to show you how to wash your hands properly. So I've um, thought I was washing my hands long enough, but obviously I wasn't. So now I'm actually really focusing on washing them for about a good two minutes or more. Ah, and, and two minutes or more. Or so more. That's a lot of happy birthdays. That's a lot of I will survive. Um, and, and, and it's also getting into areas that uh, the World Health Organization maybe haven't identified. I don't know. I'm not saying that we're, um, you know, uh, going to, you know, consult the World Health Organization in terms of giving them uh, direction and guidance, but uh, things to think about in terms of being more thorough. And so as we're going to get to uh, Barb, who's standing by, and where are you again in your home? I'm going to be washing my hands in my bathroom. So you're currently talking to us from where? The washroom. Of course. <laughs> the washroom. So we found you in your bathroom. You have the best place to be washing your hands. <laughs> yes, and no other business uh, at the moment. So not total privacy disturbed. That's a good thing. Um, so we're just going to kind of come up with our little screen about uh, what we're going to get into today. And I'll see if I can navigate this. I think maybe we're improving a little bit. So welcome to the Inside Out Health, Fitness and Wellness segment for today. Again, addressing uh, tips and hacks. Um, really like that word hack um, and how you can be creative from home uh, and um, look at to be resourceful, things that you have, ordinary th things that we wouldn't think of in terms of ways that we can sanitize, um, make a mask and, and so forth. So that's our, our opening and of course our segment's called Be Safe with Barb, tools and tips from inside your home featuring Barb, a, our master health and wellness educator. And then uh, for today, what we're gonna talk about is once again, protecting yourself through creative and crafty ways uh, for coping and also constructing pretty cool stuff in your bathroom, um, in your kitchen, uh, looking in certain cabinets. That's a little hint for uh, something we're gonna talk about. Uh, so looking specifically at proper technique for putting on and removing gloves, sounds like something that could be mindless, right? Well, it's not. And in, in, in this environment today where um, you can um, be infected so easily and through the transmission of a virus, we have to be really careful. So Barb's gonna share us some um, hacks and uh, tips to be um, protecting ourselves. And also really exciting, we're gonna create, Barb's gonna create for us a disinfectant at home and how you can make your own hand sanitizer. So um, really excited about that. So stand by for that uh, really exciting stuff. So Barb, please, uh, why don't you take us away, take it, take it away and we'll get into the flow of things, shall we? I will, all right. So I'm gonna flip you around. 
bring you to my sink here where I'm going to show you my hand washing technique. So running some warm water. And let me know if you want me to time you. Sorry? Let me know if you want me to time you. Okay, time me. Yes, please. I also sing a little, maybe a mantra that you can get your kids to sing while they're washing their hands. So here I am, I'm lathering my hands completely all the way up, can you see? Okay, so let me know when to start, I'm sorry. Can we, can we let... <laughs> Ready? Uh, okay, and the Go. clock has started. All right, so I'm washing my hands all the way up to my wrist, making sure that you get everything cleaned. I'm cleaning through my fingers, using both hands, and then also really get into the thumb making. Clean those thumbs really well. And then I also take my fingertips and really scrub in the palm of my hand. So I'm cleaning those nail beds because lots of dirt and infections and yucky stuff gets all in there. So you want to make sure that you're getting all of that. So really lather your soap up. Have some fun. You know, you can sing a little mantra. Here I go. All of my cells are happy. All of my cells are well. All of my cells are happy and all of my cells are well. I'm so glad that every little cell in my body is happy and well. I'm so glad every little cell in my body is happy and well. Every little cell in my body is happy. Every little cell in my body is well. Every little cell in my body is happy. Every little cell in my body is well. I might even take another little squirt, add some more, do it again. Every little cell in my body is happy. Every little cell in my body is well. Every little cell in my body is happy. Every little cell in my body is well. I'm so glad every little cell in my body is happy and well. I'm so glad every little cell in my body is happy and well. Every little cell in my body is happy. Every little cell in my body is well. Every little cell in my body is happy. Every little cell in my body is well. All right. So that should be good. And then I have my own towel. And that's a key thing too. You want to have your own towel. Drying off your hands. Keeping your hands and towels safe. So, awesome. See? There we go. You see that, Barb? Two minutes, or two minutes, 11 seconds. Oh, and we got the 11, 11, and 4, 4 in there. That's pretty good. <laughs> got it like that. All right, so, so I'm going to take you over into my kitchen. Okay, so from the bathroom in your home into the kitchen, and as you're doing that, I might just throw up another slide here for us just to remind everybody of uh, what we're covering today. So um, really uh, thoroughly cleaning your hands, unlike you've ever seen before, probably. <laughs> um, and uh, two minutes for cleaning your hands, hot water, warm water, uh, room temperature water. These are things that might be a consideration, but not probably as important as getting good scrubbing technique and all the different angles and all the different areas, including nail beds, as Barb has uh, let us know. Um, also, um, uh, you know, scrubbing and having your own towel. Um, so, where have we found ourselves now in your home? Uh, well, we're in the kitchen. Let me just uh, reverse so you can see me for a little bit. So, so we'll, let's just for one moment uh, about the hand washing, is there anything else you might add? I mean, one thing that I want to know is 
what should the temp, does the temperature of the water matter? Uh, it does, but you don't want to also, you know, burn your hands. Yeah. So you want it to be as warm as possible. Yeah. Okay. But yeah. If, if at the same time, if your option is, uh, you know, say your home is out of hot water, uh, as, as many people might experience from time to time, yeah. just simply the, the, the rinse after the good lathering and the scrubbing is still effective. Absolutely, yeah. Just wash those hands. Including the nail beds. Including your nail beds, absolutely. And, and also, uh, how high up on your hand should we consider washing? All the way up to about your wrists. Yeah. You need to go up that far. People don't do that. People are just going like this quickly and they're done. But really, you've got to get in there and really, you know, wash the hands, wash the thumbs, wash the nail beds, use the palm of your hand. There's soap there, scrub, rinse them off. Have your own towel. That's okay, now you've got uh, some some blue gloves uh, on display there for us. Uh, do you want to have a word about how to uh, put gloves on and take them off for us? Uh, yeah, so let me just uh, bring my gloves out for you to see. So I've got some glo gloves that I have in a box. So I have these in my I have them in my coat pocket so when I'm going out of the house I'm putting my gloves on because and I try not to touch things but you end up doing that and especially if you're out shopping and you're buying stuff you're going to be picking things up so I've got my gloves on so when I touch things I try not to touch anything else especially your cell phone right so I always try to have my debit card because people aren't taking cash anymore so debit card credit card i have it ready but when i have to go and take it out of my pocket i'm not using the glove that i picked up the product with to go into my pocket i take it off turn it inside out and then i use my hand that hasn't touched anything to go into my pocket that I've already have my card ready to pay with. And then when I have to press the buttons because I don't have a tap, I use my other hand with the glove. And then I use my hand with the glove on to carry my bag. And then once I get outside, I discard the gloves. So I'm just turning them inside out. My gloves are together. I'm not touching anything and I throw them into the garbage, not on the ground where I see lots of the gloves are, into the garbage. Very so. good, so uh, I think it's important that, to consider the way that we remove the gloves as well, so we don't yeah. then take onto our skin the outside of the glove and what that's picked up. Yeah, so I'm turning them inside out while I take it off. So I'll do it again so you can see. So there's my glove and I'm taking the top part, turning it inside out. So I'm not touching anything. And then discard it. Okay, yeah. that's great. That's helpful. Appreciate those hacks for sure. Okay, so now on to the pièce de résistance. Okay. Um, what, what have you got for us in uh, the next section of your home here? All right, so I have some products here. You might need to move your candle a little bit, please. Yeah, there, can you see now? Great. All right, so I have some products that I'm going to be making my own homemade hand sanitizer. So I've gone to the dollar store and I've bought in some empty containers here. They've got actually quite a selection. You have a spray bottle, you have one that has a squirt lid. You actually have some containers as well too see those great anyway so that's that and so I've, I've got some aloe so you can use uh, this is a 99% aloe gel it also will help moisturize the hands as well too and then there's also this product which I really like 
because this product has aloe, it has uh, witch hazel, it also has um, some aromatherapy oils, which are one of the things that you kind of need to when you're making your own hand sanitizer. So there's tea tree in here as well. There's some rosemary. Uh, so there's lots of good aromatherapy oils in this one. So if you don't have uh, singular like oils, like I have thieves, but if you don't have thieves, uh, the Nature's Aid is awesome. Um, I also have tea tree oil by itself, but again, not everybody has that. So if you just buy that one product and add it to your alcohol, there's your hand sanitizer right there. So unfortunately, alcohol, rubbing alcohol, is no longer to be found in stores. So mm. I just go into... We're going to need a real hack for that. We are. And this is what I found. Vodka. Whoa. So you can use pure vodka because it's 60% alcohol, which is that's what you actually need to be making your hand sanitizer. Or I have some rum that I found when I went to Cuba. So you can also use that as well too. So depending what you have, look in your cupboards. So I'm going to be adding and let so me the just vodka get... and the rum uh, should be, uh, the only way that this is going to be effective is if you've got some pretty strong stuff in the house. That's right. And um, some of your alcohol appeared, according to you, seemed to be mysteriously missing, but uh, <laughs> you didn't want to take the credit for it, eh, Barb? Not me, not me. <laughs> Anyways, I have my little funnel here. And I'm going to be pouring a little bit more than half into my bottle here. And then I've got that, my... That, that was, we, we can't see the whole shot. So that, that was the vodka, is that right? That's the vodka. Okay. And then I got the first aid here. Let me just see, this is a new one. Let's see if it's open yet. And then I'm going to squirt this in here. And then what's this, this product has the essential oils, the, the aromatherapy, what does this have? Yeah, so this one, this product here, let's just show you this bottle, if I have two bottles. And let me just put the lid back on this one before we don't want any accidents there. So this one here, it has aloe in it. And then it also has some other good ingredients. You've like got the essential some, oils, the tea tree oil. You've got some essential oils in here, yes, and tea tree oil. So the, thie the thieves oil is it thieves oil? Is that what you call uh, that product? Is yeah, as well? there's no thieves in this product. Okay. But uh, the key elements are the um, the aloe vera. It actually has uh, tea tree oil, witch hazel. It has vitamin E which is very soothing. It has rosemary. Yeah, okay. and those are the ingredients. So some really great natural products mixed with alcohol that must be at, at minimum 60%. Yeah, and so I've just shaken it together. And let's just try it out. There we go. Oh, kind of missed that. So what did you do? Spray it or? Um... Just in here, I actually, I use the flip lid and then I'm putting it in my hand. And then, sorry, I'm going to bring it in front of me. And I'm just rubbing them together. If you can see in the shadow there. Maybe you can turn the camera around again. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So just rubbing them. Like again, all the way up to your wrists, all the way through your fingers. It absorbs quite quickly. So you might need a couple of dabs. Just be careful because it is a little bit more runnier. So if you want to do more aloe into it, 
to make it less runny, you can do that as well too. You can also put this in a spray bottle as well if you wanted to spray it on your hands. Okay. Instead of having it like that in your hands, right? Make sure you get it all into the finger beds, all over your hands. There you go. Wow, that's amazing. Maybe uh, before we sign off here, you can give us another shot of the products there with a mention about possibly where people could find these products. Absolutely. So let's just uh, flip you around again. All right. So obviously, you know, if you have a liquor cabinet, you can go to your <laughs> liquor cabinet to find your uh, liquor there because I, I went everywhere today to find alcohol and no alcohol left. You mean the rubbing alcohol? The rubbing alcohol, yeah. Right. So, that, I mean, and that's the, that's the kind of, you know, irony of this now is people could actually put alcohol to good use in the, uh, the liquor store. That's right. Since so, you know, as a utility for more than just consumption and drinking it in, if there's no rubbing alcohol, we've got this great hack for you. And actually keeping the liquor store open makes good sense in this case. Don't yep. you think? Absolutely. If you can't find it in the shoppers, grocery stores, the liquor store is open. Your vodka will always be there. <laughs> so uh, coming back to where I picked up some of my products, um, you can go to any health food store. They'll carry the Nature's Aid. Um, and that will actually be the less expensive way to go because it already has all your essential oils in it. It has the vitamin E in it. So you're not spending extra money for vitamin E. Um, you're not spending extra money for like the tea tree oil that I have here. So that's all you need is the vodka and the Nature's Aid and a plastic bottle or a spray bottle to put it in. And there's your own hand sanitizer. Wow. And... And also, from a, a cost perspective, Barb, um, what, what com comparative are we looking at? I mean, if we can make a good um, home sanitizer uh, that's effective, that does the job, unlike some of them that are actually on the market um, that claim to be really good uh, hand sanitizers, which I believe are under the threshold of 60% alcohol, in some cases, the, the less expensive ones, uh, yes, and then also this one here is, um, it's all natural. Maybe you can turn the camera around again. Please. Yes, I can. Uh, yeah, so uh, what I've just made is more natural as well too, so it's not as harsh because it has the vitamin E, it has the aromatherapy oils, it has the lavender in it, uh, it has the aloe in it. Mm -hmm. so, a lot of uh, hand sanitizers don't have all those natural ingredients that, you know, by making it yourself, uh, you, you can control of what you're putting into your products. Beautiful. And, and from a cost comparative uh, point of view, uh, do you have a sense of uh, what the difference, how, how big a difference or small a difference it would be? Uh, so when you put to, everything together. Yeah. So putting everything together, I would say under $10 under ten dollars and this nature's aid it's an amazing for so much more than just hand sanitizers you can use it for cuts burns sunburns burns on the stove as well too so there's so much other uses that you can use this product as well so it's well worth the money well i hope the uh, nature's aid people uh uh, catch our little discussion here and maybe I'll send you a nice case for as a small thanks. <laughs> yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, when it's a good product, then, uh, you know, it, it speaks for itself. Um, so hopefully people have uh, benefited or had an idea spark or confirmed what they thought they already heard. Um, if any of those things are true, then we've, we've done a, hopefully a good service for people. I'm sure we have. Any, any uh, sign-off moments? Uh, you know, we, we thought about starting in your bathroom, but um, sadly, we didn't start with you in your bathroom. 
<laughs> Just keep those hands clean, keep them sanitized, wear your gloves, wear your masks, always be, you know, cautious and aware. Sounds like great advice. Once again, being safe with Barb in our uh, Inside Out Health and Wellness segment uh, in, in trying to uh, share some hacks that you can do um, out of uh, the setting of your own home. Uh, people have the time, uh, how you can make your own mask, how you can make your own hand sanitizer, how to clean your, your hands properly, and even uh, sprouting in your kitchen uh, food that uh, you can make into your to your greenhouse and we'll, we'll want to check back in on how your uh, little greenhouse and sprouting experiment is coming along there, the tomatoes yeah, and cucumbers. Absolutely. It's getting there slowly. Okay, and I'll take so, it and show you it. Okay, so next time I think we're going to be food, yeah. all like healthy stuff once again. Okay, Barry, and, uh, thank you. Thanks, Barb. Until next time. Until next time. <laughs>